Hello again, thank you for opening this video. This video will teach you time in Tinyarwanda. If you have been learning Tinyarwanda here on my channel, thank you. That's the great support you have given me. And in today's video, let's be together. Let's start. To start learning Tinyarwanda, let's start with the basic terms that are used in Tinyarwanda, the terms that are used in saying time, times of the day, times of the hours. Like if you say morning, morning, you see in English morning, in Tinyarwanda we say Ijitondo or Mujitondo is the time when the sun is rising. We say morning, Ijitondo or Mujitondo in Tinyarwanda. You can see Ijitondo or Mujitondo. I taught you how to read and how to write in Tinyarwanda. I think you know this if you have been following my channel. And day or during the day in Tinyarwanda we say Amanwa, Amanwa. I haven't taught you this combined consonant, but you can see it. we read Amanwa, Amanwa. And afternoon it's after 12 o'clock a.m. I mean, afternoon is after 12 p.m. We say Ijicha Monti. Ijicha Monti or Nyumayasa Sita. Nyumayasa Sita. Nyumayasa Sita or Ijicha Monti. I have taught you how to read. I think you can read this. And in the night, we say Ijoro. Ijoro. And it's in Rwanda. Night in English, in Rwanda is Ijoro. In English, we say night. In Rwanda, we say Ijoro. Minutes, minutes in English, in Tinyarwanda we say in minota. If you want to say five minutes, in Tinyarwanda we say in minota itano. You, you remember we have learned how to count in Tinyarwanda. If you have, if you haven't learned to count, please visit my video. I will leave the link in the description so you can learn how to count numbers. Five minutes we say in minota itano. Five is itano. Hours, we say Isaha or Amasaha. Isaha is in a single hour and in plural hours we say Amasaha in Tinyarwanda. Hour is Isaha, hours is Amasaha. And the seconds, seconds, you see we have hour, minus, and seconds. Seconds we say Amasegonda in Tinyarwanda. Amasegonda. Seconds, I'm a second, I'm a second, five seconds. A second, I'm a second. That's how we say these basic terms. You will learn more terms as you keep running to the one here on my channel. But for now, let's move on to the next hours. Hours. When we are going to say hours in the one, we have some guidelines to use. So, the first thing I can tell you about hours in Tinyarwanda is that most of the words that are used in a saying hours in Tinyarwanda, like numbers that we use, are derived from Swahili language. Swahili language. Swahili language is a language that is mostly used in the East Africa. It is the language that comes from Bantu languages. So, and most of words to express numbers in Tinyarwanda like in time they are used are from Swahili so like I gave you like example if we are going to count one in Swahili we say Moja and when we are going to say seven o'clock in Tinyarwanda we say Samoya Moya and Moja you can see, you can understand that they they are somehow related so and to say hours in Tinyarwanda you need to add the prefix sa on every time we're going to say this sa is a must for example if you want to say eight o'clock i can say uh no if you want to say eight o'clock you can see i this is eight o'clock and we have added some bilizuzu you can see this sa come back sa sa we say some bilizuzu this eight o'clock and if you want to say some bill and when it's o'clock we say it's the sun will come back and 30 minutes past 14 30 minutes past 14 you can see this is one in the Tinyarwanda you say Samunan is the end in the time of the this sun will come back say Samunan is the end in the time of the 30 minutes 
past 14. Okay, so minus, I told you, is a minota. You can see this. 30 means wrong. That I didn't write it, but I have taught you in the previous video that teach you how to count. And the next thing you need to see is when we add the hours to the day times, like if we are in the morning, if we are in the day, or if we are in the evening, how do we say time? I can say that the, there is no difference. If I want to say time in the morning, that's the same as we say in the evening. But to specify the time that you are in, you can add something like if we are in the morning, you add Zamuli Tondrek. If you say Sambiri, I tell you Sambiri is 8 o'clock. And it's AM, you can add Sambiri Zamuli Tondo. Sambiri Zamuli Tondo, this Zamuli Tondo means in the morning. Which means that it's the 8 o'clock of the morning. <laughs> this AM is the morning. Oh. And if you want to say it in Kimba, you can say Sambiri Zamuli Tondo. Or Sambiri Zuzu Zamuli Tondo. But you saying Sambiri Zamuli Tondo is okay. And during the day or in the middle of the day, we don't need to specify time. You can just say Zamanwa or don't say it. It's okay. Like to say 12 p.m. you say Sasita Zamanwa or just say Sasita. Sasita or Sasita Zamanwa is okay. You see this Zamanwa means of the middle of the day. Zamanu Amanuma I told you is the during the day. We say Amanuma. Amanuma is during the day. So if you say Sasta Zamanuma, any person can understand what you are saying. He can understand that you are saying the that it's the twelve o'clock of the middle of the day. And when is the evening or night? We say zero. Like if you're going to tw say twenty we say Sambiri Zijoro in the evening. Sambiri, this is 20. We say Sambiri Zijoro. This Zijoro means night. Sambiri of night. Sambiri Zijoro. We say 20. We can wonder we say Sambiri Zijoro. And after seeing hours of daytime, let's see all hours of the day. The day starts at zero. Zero is the the midnight. Midnight. That's when the day starts. And when the day starts, we in Kinyarwanda we say it's sasita zero, sasita, sasita. You can only say sasita, or like we said in the previous slide, you can say sasita zero in the night. Sasita zero, or yeah, sasita zero. And when it's one hour past sasita zero, we say. One o'clock in English, and then in Uganda we say Sasaba. I told you it's uh, like it's like Swahili. When you're going to count in Swahili, you say Moja, Biri, Tatu, Ine, Tanu. I, I don't know Swahili, but I know they are somehow related. So if you are going to say time in Uganda and it's one o'clock, you say Sasaba. Sasawa, you see, it can be in the midnight or in the middle of the day. You say Sasawa. I specified all the time because I don't know the time you use. Some people use the, the style of 1 to 12 and others use 24 hour style. So I don't know the time you use, but if you use both, you can see most of the time this one is used in the night, during the night. And in the middle of the day, we use this 13. But I don't know what style you use, but they are all the same. They are all read the same. We say Sasaba. And when it's 2 in the night or it's if it's in the midday 14, we say Samunani. When it's 3 or 15, we say Sachenda. When it's 4 o'clock or 16, we say Sakumi. When it's 5 o'clock or 17 o'clock we say sakumi nimne when it's six o'clock or we say 18 o'clock i don't know the same use we say sakumi nimne six o'clock or 18 o'clock we say sakumi nimne sakumi nimne this ones are from i mean this numbers are from swahili so if you know Swahili, it can be easy for you. If you don't know Swahili, 
or you know English it might be hard for you but not too hard because it's easy to run and when it's 7 o'clock or 19 o'clock we say Samoya Samoya this is one in Swahili Moja and uh, if you are in Swahili we know so I can repeat zero o'clock in the night it's a sita or in the day we say it there okay. one o'clock or thirteen we say sa seven two o'clock or fourteen o'clock say some nine three o'clock or fifteen o'clock we say sa agenda four o'clock or sixteen o'clock we say sa kumu five o'clock or seventeen o'clock we say sa kumu six o'clock or 18 o'clock we say sakuminetri, 7 o'clock or 19 o'clock we say samoya, and when it's 8 o'clock or 20 o'clock we say sambiri, it might be day or night, when it's 9 o'clock we say satatu or 21, 10 o'clock or 22 o'clock we say saime. When it's 11 or 23, we say Satana, and then you can be back to the this 12 or, or Sasita. You see, the, the time will fall, the time will circle. The day is over for now, and you can start again your day with Sasaba, Samanani, Satenda, Sakumi, Sakuminimi, Sakuminibdidi, Samoya, Sambidi, Satatu, Sayime, Satano, Sasta again. So that's how the circle of the day is and in the English you know it and you can learn it in the Rwanda too because the time is a circle and if you know this I mean if you watch the video you will know it and after you know it it won't be hard for you anymore you will know how to say time with Nirvanda and we have only talked about time when it's so o'clock when there are no minutes left that are passed on that hour so now let's say like you have 30 minutes past 18 how do we say that to say time we use hours and minutes most of our time we don't consider seconds so say minutes in the November, we need more counting i made the video about counting i i think you have watched it if you haven't i will leave you a link in the description so you can watch it so and between the hour and minutes, you need to add the joint now between your hour and minutes, and then same minutes as you could count any number. Let me give you an example. Like if we say 30 minutes past, past to 16, it's Sakumi na milongitatu. Sakumi na milongitatu. If you see, I told you 16 is Sakumi. You have seen it in the previous video. I mean the previous slide 16 is Sakumi and when there is the minutes that are left to use this joint to join the the minutes and the hour so the hour is Sakumi and then we add this joint now and we count the minutes if there is 15 you can say Sakumi na chumi ni tan we have seen that 15 is it's 15 minutes that are passed on to 16 and if it's 12 uh, I mean 16 minutes past to 12 we say Sasita this is the time the hour 12 not too many times that the two minutes is minutes past to 12 I think you can understand this if you know how to count the numbers in Tinguanda and you will know it, then you can know how to say in minute because the minutes are from 1 to 16. If you want me to make a video about 1 and 15, six, I mean 16 numbers, you can tell me I will make that video for you. Or I will explain you, just comment down if you want it. And let's move on to the next slide. And that's all I have to teach you about the time in Nirvana. So for now, I'm going to give you tips to running fast Nirvana. If you want to run Nirvana, what do you need to do? 
what do you need to do in order to memorize this in Rwanda very fast? Something you need the first that everyone can give you as advice is practicing more because someone have said that practice makes you perfect. I mean practice makes perfect. So if you practice more, that's how you will know more. If you keep practicing, you have experience in something you are practicing. So in learning in Rwanda, there is no difference. You need to practice harder, harder and harder so you can know what you are learning. And to practice in Rwanda, you might uh, need to talk to someone who knows in Rwanda or find Rwanda's friends. If you are not in Rwanda, or you can go to Facebook, you'll find it in Rwanda. If you want me to give you the name of Rwandans, you can tell me to that. And uh, something you need to do is read more what's in Rwanda text. If you want to know what's in Rwanda, you need to read it in Rwanda. To read more what's in Rwanda text, you can find books over the internet that uh, are written in Uganda and some websites that are written in Uganda. I can give you that websites if you want. I'll find them for yourself. But if you can't find them, tell me on in the comment. I will give you these websites that you can use to read more in Uganda text. And something else you can do is watching Kinyarwanda videos, videos that are made in Kinyarwanda. I have made those videos too. You can watch them here on my channel. You don't need to go further. So <laughs> after watching these videos, you can start writing Kinyarwanda. If you want to start writing, I have got you alphabets here on my channel. You can find a video that talks about alphabet. I will leave you a link in the description. And uh, the last thing you can do is ask questions. I'm here for you to ask me. If you want to ask me any question, the press is always open for you. You can ask me and I will reply you. I, I will not just uh, ignore you. So please, if you have any problem in Rwanda, if you want to run in Rwanda very bad, then I have um, wanted to teach you in Rwanda because I think some people are going to need to come to Rwanda or some people are going to need to learn more about Rwanda and more about Rwanda include the Rwanda language because I know Rwanda is the country that is growing very fast and in that growing many people will need to know many things about the country that is growing so if you want to learn more about Rwanda if you want to learn more about the Rwanda just uh, DM me or just comment down. I will reach out to you and you can talk about more. And I can tell you more about Rwanda. I'm Rwanda, proud Rwanda. Thank you. And um, I thank you for watching this video to the end. If you haven't, I remind you to subscribe here to my channel. It's called Ashere Songalab. And that's my name. If you don't know my name, that's my name. And uh, thank you until next time we meet, which I will be giving you some other video, may, might be about Tinian Gwanda or something else, but uh, please share this video to your friends so I can help them too. Thank you.